Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to introduce you to some basic identities in trigonometry. Now, there are dozens and dozens of different identities, all of have a good purpose and come in really handy in certain situations. Well, we've got to start somewhere, so let's start with the basic ones. So first of all, we understand, of course, that the tangent of theta is defined as the sine over the cosine, the cotangent of theta, the cosine divided by the sine, the secant of theta is 1 over the cosine, and the cosecant of theta is 1 over the sine of theta. Now, from that, we can slowly start building up some basic identities. Now, the first one I want to do is take a look at the unit circle, realize that the radius of the unit circle is equal to 1, that's what makes it the unit circle, that the x value of a point on the circle is equal to the cosine of theta, and the y point on the circle is equal to the sine of theta. And now, of course, from the diagram theorem, we realize that x squared plus y squared will equal 1 squared. So we can write that x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, and of course, 1 squared is equal to 1, so we can write that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, and then realizing that x can be defined as the cosine of theta on the unit circle, and y can be defined as the sine of theta on the unit circle, if you replace the x and the y by sine and cosine, or cosine and sine, we can then say that the cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta is equal to 1, and that is our first basic identity, comes in really handy in certain situations. Now why did I write cosine squared theta? Well it turns out that you can write, and let me give myself a little more room here, that the cosine of theta quantity squared can simply be written as the cosine square of theta. That is the same thing, it's just another way of writing this, but instead of not, so in order not to use the parentheses, we write it like that. So that just means the exact same thing. Cosine square of theta means the cosine of theta quantity squared. Okay, now if we take that identity, and if we work with that a little bit more, let's say we take, um, uh, we're going to reverse the sine and the cosine. So let's write it as the sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta is equal to 1, which is usually a more common form of that particular identity, like that. If we now divide both the sine square of theta and the cosine square of theta, n1, both sides of the equation, by the sine square of theta, what do we get? Let's try that. So let's take the sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta equals 1 and divide both sides of the equation by the sine square of theta. Okay, then you can see, of course, that this becomes 1. The, the cosine divided by the sine is the cotangent, and the cosine squared divided by the sine squared is a cotangent squared. So this can be written as a cotangent square of theta. And 1 over the sine, as we can see, 1 over the sine is equal to the cosecant. Oop, cosecant square of theta. I have to write squared because, of course, the sine is squared. And that would be another identity. But typically, they like to reverse the order of that. So let me write it, oh, let me bring it up here. That means I can write this as the cotangent square of theta plus 1 is equal to the cosecant square of theta. And that would be our second basic identity in trigonometry. And finally, we can reverse the process. Instead of dividing both sides by the sine square of theta, we can divide both sides by the cosine square of theta. So let's do that. So we have the sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta equals to 1. Now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the cosine uh, square of theta, cosine square of theta, and cosine square of theta. Notice that the sine divided by cosine is a tangent, so therefore the sine square of theta divided by the cosine square of theta is the cotangent square of theta. So, oh, now I said cotangent, but I meant to say tangent because the sine divided by cosine is tangent, so the tangent square of theta, plus this is obviously 1, equals and 1 over the cosine is, is the secant, and 1 over cosine squared is therefore the secant squared, secant squared of theta. And there we have our third basic trigonometric identity. So what are identities? Well, trigonometric identities are equations that, that define one trigonometric function in terms of another. So in this case, we have a relationship between the cosine and the sine. Here we have a relationship between the cotangent and the cosecant, and there we have a relationship between the tangent and the secant, and that's how we define them. So let me mark them up. So this one right here, this one right here, 
and this one right there are three of our basic identities in trigonometry and you can see how they were derived. In a later video, some, somewhere in the future, we're going to show you how to use identities in all kinds of different ways. But here is just simply good enough to understand that yes, there's some basic relationships that can simply be gotten from the unit circle between the sine, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, the secant, and the cosecant. And that's how we do that.